Darth Treya, the Lord of Betrayal, also known as Kreia, or should I say, Aaron K. The dark side is strong with you, as it were with your former student. It was fortunate that he turned from the dark side, unlike you. Ah, Obi-Wan Kenobi, famed Jedi Knight and Hero of the Republic, now a disgraced war veteran. But tell me, Jedi, do you truly believe the light side is the only path to balance and enlightenment? I have witnessed the destruction caused by the dark side. The light side offers clarity, compassion, and a selfless path towards peace. It is through the light that true balance can be achieved. Balance, you say? But your Jedi code limits your understanding. Revan sought to bring true balance to the Force, embracing both the light and the dark. He saw the wisdom in wielding both sides, transcending the narrow view of the Jedi. Revan fell to the dark side. He betrayed everything the Jedi stood for. He brought untold suffering to the galaxy through the Mandalorian Wars and subsequent Jedi Civil War. And let us not forget Anakin Skywalker, my former student. He allowed the Dark Lord to twist his mind until he became the very thing he swore to destroy. Can you deny the destructive nature of the Dark Side? Anakin's fall was tragic, yes. But it was also a result of your Jedi Code's failure. Your narrow view on attachment and fear blinded him to the possibilities of true power. The dark side is not inherently evil. It is a tool that can be wielded with wisdom and control. Is that what you tell yourself? I could never imagine embracing that, to lose my compassion and selflessness, and more importantly, myself. Compassion and selflessness? How naive. The Jedi's self-imposed limitations prevent them from understanding the true nature of the Force. Anakin Skywalker, like Revan, challenged those limitations. His fall was a product of the conflict between his attachments and the Jedi Code. Can you deny the failures of your teachings? Could you deny that you failed as a teacher? I... yes. Sometimes I've wondered whether Anakin fell because of me. Palpatine took him away from me, and I've missed him ever since. Is that fear I sense in you, Obi-Wan? Fear that you weren't good enough a master for the Chosen One. Fear that all those whom you loved and now are lost could have been saved had you done better. I don't know about that. All I know is that I could have done things differently. Indeed. But fear and regret leads to the dark side, does it not? You must not avoid them, but embrace and overcome these emotions, O oh broken Jedi. Perhaps that is so. Perhaps I shouldn't have been so stupid to follow the Jedi way. But it does not invalidate the principles of the Jedi. The dark side corrupts, and it is our duty to resist its temptations. We must embrace the light and its teachings to preserve the peace and harmony of the galaxy. Spoken like a true slave of the Jedi Code. But of course, I can't expect you to learn with merely words. I do hope you grow from this failure, Obi-Wan. Break free of these chains and brace yourself. Your greatest enemy is yet to come.